Conclusion I encourage everyone to do their own their own research, and if you find credibility to the claims made in the following parts in this series, it would be prudent to take the proper precautions. What is coming, you ask? And what is coming, is already unfolding. The following information was first made public over 15 months ago by confidential sources from various alphabet soup agencies. The events arising out of the following information is already beginning to happen. Underground structures too. In my role as a talk show host, I have been approached by individuals who claim to have insider information about what is coming, and according to these individuals, what is coming is very bad. Most credible sources demand complete anonymity. As a result, I have found myself in a position to try and evaluate whether to write about and broadcast some very controversial information. Sometimes, my insider information turns out to be stunningly accurate, as evidenced by the Chris Stevens murder story which was spot on. My information on the Aurora Batman shootings has also proven to be very accurate. There is a risk in using unnamed sources. Simply, they could be wrong, they could be disinformation agents or they might just be crazy, as they are looking for their 15 minutes of fame. It takes a degree of courage to air information derived from confidential sources. Therefore, I want to thank Doug Hagman for daring to publish his dire warnings, which come from an inside source of DHS. I have subsequently decided to reveal what I know as well. The decision to air these warnings will undoubtedly encourage others to come forward. Hopefully, so many insiders will come forward that it will become impossible to hide what it is coming from those who are actively seeking answers. To the general public, it does not matter what they are told, for they will still believe that the government will take care of them. CNN truthfully reports the news and Santa Claus exists. As a result, these fools will never know what hit them. Although the Hagman warnings differ somewhat from my sources, there are some common threads. One area that Hagman's source did not focus on is the dropping out of sight by ex-federal officials and prominent figures on Wall Street. And that is the remaining focus of this article. The Mars Observation Wall Street Underground in a December 9, 2012 interview on the Common Sense Show. Jim Mars discussed how approximately 400-500 top-level bankers have left their positions and have gone into seclusion. Mars reminded my listening audience of how the elite have developed seed vaults, which only they have access to. Mars was clearly alluding to the fact that some very bad events are coming and the global elite are aware of it and are moving to meet the threat. My insider sources inform me that the same thing is happening in various federal organizations who have recently retired from the CIA, DHS, NSA and FEMA. This fact is indisputable. I have first-hand knowledge of three ex-Fed officials and their families who have relocated to safety enclaves when doing so was very disruptive to their respective families' lives. Increasingly, it is looking like some major event S's are coming, and persons with insider information are attempting to remove themselves from harm's way. Massive retirements from the alphabet soup agencies when government officials, from the various alphabet soup agencies, retire en masse, it is not necessarily a noteworthy event. However, when the same officials retire en masse, and then relocate to form their own survivalist enclaves, then this is something that we should all sit up and take notice of, especially when we are seeing the same behavior on the part of Wall Street executives. In my dealings with purported alphabet soup agency informants, I have been receiving some very dire warnings in terms of what lies ahead for America. Given the above facts, it should be understandable why I found the recent Hagman interview with Rosebud to be a little bit more than interesting. I have had conversations with two insiders and a relative of another insider, who tell similar stories of a coming series of apocalyptic events. Much of the Hagman information, to a large extent, corresponds to the information I've received except for the fact that many ex-Feds are forming self-sustaining communities. Therefore, this installment will strictly deal with the fact that officials from the NSA, CIA, 
DHS and FEMA are retiring early retiring and going into seclusion with their former comrades in arms. Please note that former DHS director, Janet Napolitano, stated at her farewell address that it was not a matter of if, but when, the power grid will be taken down. The final act has indeed commenced. DHS and CIA relocations It is a matter of official agency policy that some current DHS and CIA officials and their families will be provided sated safe sanctuary in various strategic locations in Colorado in times of trouble. Most people in the know are aware of the underground facilities, which lies below the Denver International Airport, which has an underground connected railway to the Cheyenne Mountain Norad Fort Carson Peterson Air Force Base underground facilities. The structures are part of the continuity of government program developed by the United States government in the early days of the Cold War. However these facilities are increasingly becoming the planned refuge for many of the global elite residing within the United States, when all hell breaks loose. In September 2011, the evacuation of the elite to this safe highway was rehearsed in the DHS exercise known as Operation Mountain Guardian, in which the Denver airport was shut down to commercial air travel except for specific, undesignated planes, which were allowed to land in preparation for some staged catastrophe. This aforementioned event is not newsworthy, because it has been reported in the mainstream. However, where this even becomes noteworthy to the public is because it is not coincidental that the CIA has relocated its major data collection facilities to underground structures in the Denver International Airport. The implications for residents living in or near the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area should be clear. The planned obsolescence for the nation's capital is becoming increasingly apparent. If I were you and I lived in this area, I would be looking for a new place to live in the very near future. The previous information is what is publicly available. The following information has not been disseminated, but is highly relevant to what lies ahead. XCIA and DHS relocations parallel to the Colorado being prepared to become the new capital. It is highly relevant to note that retired officials from the DHS and the CIA, who are not part of the privileged elite, but who know what is coming, have developed their own enclaves in the Rocky Mountains outside of Denver and Colorado Springs. As it has been described to me, that these facilities are a poor man's imitation of the Denver International Airport facilities. The structures are largely natural, but are very well equipped, and the resources included a self-contained air supply. My source for this information is a former DHS insider. This is the same insider, who revealed to me in mid-2008 of a rift between the old guard of the New World Order and the up-and-coming new wealth of the same group. His information at that time proved too highly credible then, and I believe that this is credible as well. NSA Relocations Ozarks Recently, retired officials from the NSA have relocated to an area in the Ozarks, where they have access to underground safety zone, which have are being transformed into many villages of self-sustainable protection. Their properties consist typically of 5 to 10 acres for each family, contains a portable water supply, residents are armed to the teeth, have alternative communications, that are not reliant on the grid and of years of stored food. My source is an individual who retired from the NSA almost two years ago. His decision to participate in the relocation was triggered by the impending re-election of President Obama, which he said will hasten the onslaught of what is to come, because Obama's administration fully embraces the destruction of America. Ex-FEMA Relocations North Carolina Recently retired officials from FEMA are relocating to the Rolling Hill areas, in a state in the southeast approximately two hours from the coast. Their enclave contains the same resources involving air, water, food and guns. These enclaves also include underground structures which are sensibly self-contained and can serve to isolate the inhabitants from the outside. I have two sources on this information, which includes a family member and a retired FEMA official who has chosen not to participate in this relocation. The non-participant ex-official from FEMA did not seek sanctuary with these groups because he feels that several of these enclaves will be targeted for destruction by the powers that be because of the knowledge contained by the inhabitants in this case of dead men tell no tales.
This makes sense, because it would allow the elite, following the coming cataclysms, to rewrite history in their own version without any contradiction from knowledgeable individuals that know what really has gone on. This insider knowledge is a threat, which would serve as an obstacle to the new truth. Personally, I think this view has a great deal of merit. All informants were clear on one point, when Americans begin to see the massive shifting of military assets accompanied by an increase in the sightings of foreign military, the fun is about to begin. Conclusion I encourage everyone to do their own their own research, and if you find credibility to the claims made in the following parts in this series, it would be prudent to take the proper precautions. What is coming, you ask? And what is coming, is already unfolding.